Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of GSC at Home. My name is Katie and today along with some of my friends at GSC we're going to be talking about balance with some experiments that you can do at home and you're going to get the chance to make your very own balancing bird toy just like this one here. Now who do I have helping me today? I have CJ, Celine, Natalie and Saba. So let's talk about balance. But to talk about balance we need to talk about the centre of gravity. The centre of gravity is also called the centre of mass. And this is the point in which an object can balance. Because every object has a different mass, every object has a different point of balance. For example, if I wanted to balance a broom on my finger, where do you think its centre of mass would be? Where do you think in which would be the point of equal weights on either side? Near the bottom? Near the top? Or near the middle? CJ is going to show us a really fun and easy way to find this out. Take any broom mop or something similar and support it horizontally on your index fingers. Slowly and carefully bring your fingers together. Watch how the broom pole remains balanced as you move your fingers. When your fingers meet, they'll have found the centre of gravity of the pole. Whoa! With some luck, you should be able to remove one of your hands and keep it balanced. Now that's pretty amazing. What about us? Our centre of mass is usually around where our belly button is. But as we move about, that can change. I can show you what I mean with this demo that you can do at home. For this, you need a flat wall like the one behind me, a coin and either a measuring tape or a ruler. Start by measuring out roughly 75 centimetres from your flat wall. Place your coin on that 75 centimetre mark and then stand up nice and tall with your heels pressed against the wall. The challenge is to bend over from your waist without bending your knees and pick up the coin without falling over. Just like this. <laughs> Most people will find that very tricky and not be able to do it. When we bend over to pick something up, our bottoms move backwards. This keeps our centre of mass over our feet, which keeps us balanced. However, when we were standing against the wall, our bottoms could not move backwards, so we became unbalanced and fell over. Centre of gravity and mass are extremely important to engineers and scientists when they are designing different objects. What do you think would need a balanced centre of gravity and mass when being designed? Now it's time to make our very own balancing toy. We are going to make a lovely little bird. Where do you think that the centre of gravity would be on this bird? Do you think that you would be able to balance it on just the tip of its beak? I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that and how to make our lovely balancing bird. To make it, you're going to need a few things. We'll need some card, a pen, some scissors, and some paper clips or some hairpins. First of all, we're going to take our card and fold it in half. The fold is going to be the center of our bird. Now we can take our pen and draw our bird out. I'm going to draw a beak, a head, some lovely outstretched wings. And the important part here is to make sure that the wings go over the head and they go further. And then we can draw a nice little tail. Now that we've drawn our bird, it is time to cut it out. So grab some scissors and cut around your bird. Now we can fold it out and we have a lovely bird shape. We want to try and balance it on its beak, but if we try that now, it'll just fall straight over. 
and that's because its centre of mass is currently nearer to its tail. So we need to move the centre of mass and to do that we're going to use some paper clips. We're going to add a paper clip or a hair clip here to each end of the wing and hopefully once we've added it to each end we will have moved the centre of mass and we can balance it on its beak. It might take a couple of tries to get this just right before it falls over but you should be able to make it balance on its beak just like this. So there we have it, we have a balancing bird. Try some different shapes of bird and moving the position of the paper clips and have some fun experimenting. Thanks for tuning in to GSC at home. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll try our very best to answer them. If you make any balancing toys or try any of these experiments at home, please take pictures and share them with us on our social media. We would love to see your designs. See you next time.